You own your home. Mm-hmm. What type of home do you live in? Is it a single family detached, a multi unit townhome? Single. Single family detached home. And the date you moved in approximately? 17 years ago. 1976, maybe? I don't know. 1976. Um, have you always lived in Gumlog? And where were you from? Atlanta. Atlanta? Yeah, uh, were you born and raised in the Atlanta? Ohio. In Ohio. Oh, okay. So you still have family in Ohio. Like She's roots. Brother, uh-huh. Yeah. All right. Um, tell me how your family ended up living in Gumlog. Transfer. Transfer. Um, was that like in a My husband was military? Transfer. Okay. Um, let's see. Did you... How long were you in Atlanta? Probably ten years. Ten years, and you've been here for you said seventeen mm-hmm. years. Or just, yeah. Um, have you invested in solar, either on the rooftop of your home, on your property, as part of your business, or as part of a program through your utility company? No, I haven't. Tell me why you do not have rooftop solar. Did you make I that? I live among trees. A lot of no trees? Sun. Did you make that decision, um, or was it made for you? Just a house of <laughs> <laughs> you you had you made the decision to buy the house with the trees, right. mm-hmm. and you decided not to have rooftop solar because right. of your trees. Yeah. Okay. Um, if you had the option, would you put rooftop solar on your home? Yep. Yeah. And tell me why you would. Because it's cooler. Cooler. Actually, I just now turned my air on. Did you? No way. I turned it on this weekend. Oh my goodness! I am it so cool. jealous because the shade. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But you would adopt solar if you could. Oh yeah. Okay, so maybe. Um, I have to cut a bunch of trees down. <laughs> would you do that? If I had the money. If you had the money. Mm-hmm. Okay, so. Um, uh, so you would adopt rooftop solar because it would help. Um, keep it cooler. Keep keep it cooler. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, do you think that would help with the utility bill or anything like that? Yeah. yeah. All right. We're going to talk about rooftop solar power in general. So we're going to look at the United States here. And I'm going to let you draw on it. Where do you think people adopt or invest in the most solar? So you can circle um, as many as you would like or as few as you would Where like. Where I think? Mm-hmm. The people that adopt or invest Probably the most California, solar. California. Maybe Texas. Maybe Florida. That's a more important thing that, that would really do it. Okay. Maybe I'll go. Hawaii. Maybe Hawaii? Right here. Okay. So we're going to go over each one. Or, you know, what makes this, what makes California different than... They're smarter than we are. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think they're just way ahead of us. They're ahead. So compared to Franklin County, they're a little, you think they're... Well, they're more affluent and more money. Okay. And what kind of people live in these California communities that are adopting... The uh, hippies or what we want, what we call them nowadays, the 30 to 40 year olds. There's a certain name for them. I don't know. So the 30 to 40 year olds are adopting. Yeah. Okay. More of that kind of, um, you said hippie, right. but kind of that idea. Yeah. Um, so what about Texas? What makes the community of people? Because it's so hot there. Okay. They're smart. They would do it. Okay. What kind? What kind of people are adopting in Texas? What you know? I think they'd be in the 40, 50 year old group. Okay. So working or yeah, it's working class. Okay. You think they're putting it on residential mm-hmm. or more business? Uh, uh, both. Both. Okay. What about Florida? What makes Florida? Retired. Yeah. Save you tail the bill. Okay. So what kind of people live in these communities? Retired and professional. Professional working professionals. And I'll ask the same thing about Hawaii. What makes the community so different from people in Franklin County? Probably because I think they're younger. Okay. So more more, more up to date on what's going on. Okay. More informed or mm-hmm. more educated. More informed. More informed. More educated. Okay. Um. We're gonna do the same thing with Georgia. <laughs> so um. In what community in Georgia do you think people have adopted the most solar? I know it's hard without the names. <laughs> <laughs> I just did the ones kind of sort of around Savannah. Is that Roswell? Yep. I don't know anything about the other areas. Maybe Savannah. Okay. What makes these communities different than Franklin because County? Because they're more, 
more affluent, they have the money to do it. Okay. And the type of people that are adopting? Working working people. Working people. Middle class. Okay. Middle class. Um, and all the checked areas you uh -huh. think are the same. Okay. Same with Savannah. I think because it's so hot down here. So you think the weather mm -hmm. would influence mm -hmm. um, why or why not people would mm -hmm. adopt? Okay. Good answers, bad answers. <laughs> it, there's no good or bad. That's the perfect thing. It's just your, that's what's, I love this. Um, so what about your close friends here in Franklin County or even Livonia or Gumlog? Do they have solar? No. And why do you think they don't? Because really nobody's come to town to educate them. Okay. That's um, probably the main reason. You think it's a lack of, um, mm -hmm. education about right. rooftop solar mm -hmm. panels. Um, do you feel as though you would have, like, if you wanted to get them, would you have access to them? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so maybe more information to the community right. in general. Okay. Well, and, I know there's a tax break with the EMC, but... Oh, know, okay. I don't think nobody's taking advantage of that. Why don't you think so? I don't know. I just don't think anybody I know has it. Mm -hmm. Most of them are retired and they've already got their home. They don't want to mess around with it. Do you think it has something to do with how they look on houses? Like, do you think people don't like them because of the way they look? Like you said, like the very. I don't think that has anything to do no. with it. No. Okay. Um, do you know anybody? Like any, you don't have to know them personally, but do you know of any place that has rooftop solar here? I have a friend that has a solar hot tub. <laughs> really? Uh huh. Do they like it? He did himself. He loves it. Now that's cool. Where is that in Georgia? He's or? in um, probably over in uh, Shady Couple of he lives right around here someplace. Okay, so sort of in there. He's a customer that comes in. Okay. Interesting. It's a solar tub. I thought that was pretty neat. That is neat, because that would seem like it would consume a lot of um, energy, heating stuff up. Mm -hmm. um, oh, that's interesting. Um, do you know any other characteristics that people around here, why they don't adopt here? Just not having yeah. access? So you think if people had access or education about it, they would, they would adopt? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have any other opinions about rooftop solar um, panels or no. energy or anything like that? Mm -hmm. So I just think it's pretty neat. <laughs> yeah, just kind of a neat way to yeah. help reduce um, right. things. All right. Well, thank you so much for taking the time. So do you have solar? No, we don't. We have, like you, we have a big tree in front. We live in a uh, older house, like 1950s, and mm -hmm. it's got this big oak tree in the front. And I just... I, I love it. it. keeps our house so cool. It, yeah. It's unbelievable. Actually, when I moved in, I had about six trees taken down. Now it looks like we never had a tree taken down. I just now spent uh, 1200 having some trees, uh, two trees and uh, some limbs taken down. Yes, now. And I still got a lot of trees. We need to probably get some arbor because I did notice when bought the house 10 years ago, it needed some, the big tree needed some arbor work. And so I remember once they arbored it, our house was hotter, even those little, those big branches. So I, my neighbor beside us has no trees because they have a pool. They cut down everything and they, and their grass too. Like I'm even, yeah, I'm even glad we have it because we haven't had rain in so long mm -hmm. that it helps protect, Yeah, you know. So I guess you got grass on one side, but the front and the other side and the back, there's just too many trees. Right. Yeah. So. Now I know leaves... Leaves for us is, you know, it's, it's a, a chore, but <laughs> I'd rather have, like, for me, I'd rather have it to re be cooler in the house. Yeah, I still got their back to do it, to get the leaves yeah. off. Yeah. Because I have to go out. Yeah. I don't know about you, but when you're in, when I'm in air conditioning a lot, it's like, I just, I like fresh air. I like, I, it makes my allergies mess up. So being able to open windows mm -hmm. and still being, yeah, that's what I really yeah, like. I just turned it off this weekend. That's unbelievable. I'm so jealous of that. <laughs> <laughs> we, I think we've had ours on since April, at least. You're kidding. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Now, see, my two kids live with me because they're disabled. Not, mm -hmm. probably wouldn't even bother having their born with if mm -hmm. it wasn't for them. Hmm. So. Well, and I know we were raised without, like, we didn't have air growing up, so. No, we had the windows off. Yeah, we had to go, that's what my mom said. She said we had an attic fan, 
that we turned on. Cram. Yeah, mm-hmm. I had gotten shamway. I really liked it. Mm-hmm. And she said you turn that on, and it would just take a good airflow. You put it on for about twenty five minutes at night, and that's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's it's, it's hard, hard to believe use that fan because I don't really have an attic. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's how we. I don't know anybody. My parents took theirs out. And I think my mom regrets it. So we had one in, in Chambly and made about awful noise, but it was good. But it's not. I'm like I remember being scared of it as a kid. But having that noise now, I would like any kind of background noise is nice to me. Like to sleep mm-hmm. with. So I'd actually like one now. I like one now, so our air conditioning wouldn't be running all the time. Mm-hmm. So that's yeah. So I have two air conditioners, one on each side. Oh, wow. And uh, so it seems to help because I, bet. I don't have to keep it going mm-hmm. constantly. Mm-hmm. So, right. Is your house spread out? Is it like? My house <laughs> started out as a cabin. Mm-hmm. And the guy was a contractor. And I think every time we stole material, he made it near the room. Oh, nice. So still, uh, there's a little uh, den and bathroom porch. Then there's a dining room, then there's another bedroom, then there's a kitchen, then the living room, and then the master room. So it's built. It's just, <laughs> dying, I'll tell so you, it's built but, weird. But that's really great because with your duct work, you not the air's not, or the heat's not having to travel all right. the way through the house. That makes sense. Right. That makes sense. So then I'm my duct work, I got two sets of duct work. Yeah. Because when I moved in, I didn't have air at all. Oh, wow. So, I, I think I was there about two years before I bothered putting it in. Yeah. But my company, my brothers would come to visit and fuss about it. Oh, it's so hot. That would be my husband. It wasn't hot. <laughs> <laughs> it cools off at night.